Um, we haven't really got to that stage. I still think, like you know, we're still in cause a, a, a number of gears for us to go yet. We've not got up to where we yeah. want to be, but we are doing really well. And actually, as you mentioned, Barry Fry, I'm sure Barry Fry would be at, um, at St Andrews. Yeah. Uh, I look forward to seeing him there. I think he's, he's very well uh, loved by the, the Birmingham City supporters. <laughs> Welcome back to BCFC Royal Blue. And we're back today with another score prediction video. Now, me and Dad like to do these once every week, a little bit of lighthearted fun, and we just go through each game in the League One uh, schedule and we just give our score predictions. And this week is game week eight. And as always, I'm going to hand it over to Dad before we get started, just with a little bit of a recap uh, from last week's fixture. So, Dad, do you want to give us a little bit of an overview? Well, week seven, again, we say this every week, it showed us how unpredictable this is. I mean, there were some surprise results last week in terms of the game week seven. A Charlton losing at home to Blackpool mm -hmm. Huddersfield losing at home to Northampton that was didn't, the biggie didn't see that coming that was the biggie uh, and, and even Stockport against Leighton Orient Stockport lost at home to Leighton Orient that surprised me um, a, a little bit but not as much because we've seen Leighton Orient and we knew we, even though we've beaten them they're a better team than we I think what surprised me was the goal if 4-1 that was a massive win. Yeah. And they say Stockport have been uh, got off to a flyer this season, so that, that surprised me as well. But the big one for me was Huddersfield. Yeah, well, all three of those teams all fancied that uh, they were at home to be near or, or challenging, and they yeah. all lost at home. But uh, the, the way the scores uh, went, though, we ended up 8-all um, on the week. Um, and that was only because I got one exactly right. So you you are seen to be better at predicting the outcomes of win or lose or draw but not getting the scores yeah. accurate and I am seem to be better at getting the odd accurate score <laughs> so I'm just hanging on to your coattails at the moment but I'd say your recipe is the one for the winner because if you can get more long term score predictions right it should start to tally up I know <laughs> but, but I'll take the wins for now so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so as it happens going into game week 8 then yeah. um, you're on 43 points and you're beating me by 2 points I'm on 41 still close though so it's, it's, it's been 2 point gap for the last 3 weeks actually yeah. so we've been pretty close nice. uh, so now that brings us on now to, to game week 8 yeah so as always Dad, I host these videos and we kind of go to you first then. So uh, first on my list is Crawley Town at home to Bolton. What are your thoughts on that game? Uh, well, uh, I always seem to, for whatever reason, you know, predict Crawley to either lose or draw. Uh, they're, they're at home to Bolton, who um, have had a, a pretty rough start to the, uh, the season, but... They um, beat Reading 5-2, um, so, and I think that they're a team that will start to improve. Uh, I was tempted to actually go for a draw um, in this one, um, but I just think that Bolton uh, are going to be strong. They'll have the confidence from the Reading win, so I've gone for a 2-1, uh, so Crawley 1, Bolton 2. Yeah, Dad, for a lot of the reasons you've listed, you know, Bolton winning 5-2 against Reading, that was a big win. Uh, Crawley losing to Wrexham, they're going to be going to this a little bit low on confidence, I guess. Crawley are the home team, so I'm expecting them to do OK. I think there'll be goals in this. Bolton always seem to be involved. Whether they've won or lost or draw, they, apart from the Wrexham game, they seem to be involved in high-scoring games. Crawley have got a goal in them as well. So I've gone Crawley Town 2, Bolton 3. Oh, so you've yeah, you've so you've predicted a, a similar outcome to me, but you've gone for as you said, you've gone for the goals, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so next map we've got Reading at home to Huddersfield Town. So both of these are going to go into this game pretty low on confidence, Dad, because Reading, as we just discussed, got beat by Bolton five two, and as you said, I think the biggest shock of the weekend for me personally was Huddersfield Town at home one, Northampton three. Yeah, uh, and I saw a lot of the comments from Huddersfield fans on social media. They were not happy with what they were witnessing. You know, it clearly was a very poor performance. And even from the Huddersfield fans' admission, admission, Northampton deserve that win. So this is going to be, I think, a good game. It's going to be a close game. I think Huddersfield will nick this with the quality. And Reading have just had that purchase of the club go through, the, um, not go through again, haven't they? So yeah. clubbing a little bit of turmoil again. I've gone Reading 1, Huddersfield 2. OK. Um, I, I do really feel for Reading. Um, Amen. You know, I think it was looking highly likely that that deal that uh, they had uh, on the table was was going was very close. There's there's rumours of uh, protests at this game as well, um, and I think uh, Reading have come off the back of a bit of a thumping really at Bolton. Mm -hmm. Huddersfield had a bit of a thump in themselves at home, didn't they? As you mentioned against Northampton, but uh, I think Huddersfield will 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 have to, you know, turn that around. I think they'll be stronger than Reading. Although I was impressed with Reading in the first Same. game when they played us, um, but their form has uh, just tailed off a little bit. So I've, I've predicted exactly the same score as you. I've, I've gone for Reading one, Huddersfield two. We don't tend to get many on the same page. No, recently, not, so not exactly the that's same. Quite, that's quite, uh, that's quite yeah, a good one. Yeah. Okay then, Dad. So that brings us on to our Birmingham City at home to Peterborough. What are your thoughts on that game? 
Yeah, again, another good game for us. This is the, you know, I think a few weeks ago we highlighted the next five fixtures of which we've had two, which is the uh, Wrexham game and the Rotherham game. And now we're facing another team that are fancied for playoffs, I think. I, I don't think Peterborough will be challenging for the automatics. I may be wrong, but I don't think they will. Uh, but I think they're going to be a strong team, as they always are in this division. Yeah. Um, so this ain't going to be an easy game for us either. Um, but the way we're playing at the moment, I mean, I, I, we're scoring goals, we're playing really, really well, and we're actually uh, dominating games. Uh, again, I'm I'm, even though we got a clean sheet in our last game um, at, uh, at Rotherham, I'm still not convinced we're quite there yet in clean sheets. So uh, I'm going to go for Birmingham City 3, Peterborough 1. OK, so again, we're very similar on this one. And for the same reasons, really, Dad Blues, we're full of momentum. We're scoring goals now. We, we are cranking up the gears. We're completely controlling games. But Peterborough are a good team. They have sold yeah. some good players this season. They're a team that always... I feel like the Barry Fry link's still there. They just want to score more than the opposition. They play in a lot of high-scoring games. And even at the weekend, they beat Bristol Rovers 3-2. They went 3-0 up and Bristol Rovers managed to claw two back in the yeah. second half, I believe. Uh, but for that reason, I've gone Birmingham City 4, Peterborough 1. I think we're going to uh, score some goals this game. Yeah, I think it's, I, I, I can see why you've done that, really. It's only a matter of time before we start to thump teams, I think. Um, yeah. We haven't really got to that stage. I still think like you know, we're still in... Because a, a, a number of gears for us to go yet. We've not got up to where we yeah. want to be, but we are doing really well. And actually, as you mentioned, Barry Fry, I'm sure Barry Fry would be at, um, at St Andrews. Yeah. Uh, I look forward to seeing him there. I think he's, he's very well uh, loved by the, the Birmingham City supporters. Okay, next, Matt, we've got uh, Blackpool against Burton Albion. So Blackpool really have got that Steve um, uh, Bruce bounce, haven't they? They've managed to beat Charlton at the Valley at the weekend, 2-1. I was quite surprised at that. I think I might have went for a draw or even a Charlton win. I can't remember exactly, but I was definitely surprised to see the Blackpool win. Uh, and Burton, how did Burton get on? They lost they lost, as well they lost late. They, they lost late. No, yeah, Barnsley scored in the 90 plus fourth minute, didn't they? Yeah, to, to win the game. That, that, that killed me as well because I had a 1-1 draw for that. Did you? Yeah. Oh, no. So you would have won the weekend. I, I'd, I'd, have, got I'd, have, I'd have got three points for that. And yeah. As it happened, I didn't get any. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to continue on the theme of the Blackpool, Steve Bruce bounce. I'll keep this one short. I'm going to go for Blackpool 2, Burton 0. <laughs> We don't get many of the same. I've got two nil as well. <laughs> um, again, it is that you know it was a good good win for Blackpool at Charlton, yeah. and uh, you know Burton are, are struggling in terms of form in their last six games. Um, they've uh, lost two and drawn four, so they don't win many games as well. Mm. But I think with Blackpool being at home, with this continued bounce, I mean, the way, um, you know, it, so early in the season, you know, Blackpool only need to win a few games. They'll be in the playoffs yeah. before you know it. And I think that's where they'll be anyway, um, challenging for the playoffs. Um, but I, I just think for this game, I think it's like you, like you I've, I've predicted exactly the same score. To, you know, just to remind people who watch these um, uh, podcasts, these uh, predictions, we really have no idea what the other person's predicted. We lit the first time me here is during the recording yeah. um, so out of uh, five fixtures so far we've recorded two, two exactly <laughs> so that is very unusual yeah uh, okay that's that brings on to our next game so that is Bristol Rovers at home to Wickham what are your thoughts about this game Bristol Rovers uh, lost the last three. Yeah. Um, you know, Wickham. We saw them uh, at uh, at Wickham, and they were okay. And I think they've improved actually. Wickham, yeah. Wickham have uh, got some decent results. They won uh, at the weekend too. One against Cambridge. Yeah. Well, well, in fact, actually looking at their form, they've uh, won three of the last four and drawn that one. So, so they they've definitely had an upturn in uh, in form. Uh, but having said that, though, only on the basis that I think Bristol Rovers are going to be stronger at home than they are away. Oh, and you know, Wickham are a decent team. I've gone for a one-one draw. So, again, we've got the same outcome. Yeah. I've also gone for a draw. But off the back of both teams being able to score quite a few goals, I've gone for a 2-2. You've gone for 2-2? I have, yeah. OK. Next, Matt, we have Cambridge United against Lincoln City. So I've been impressed with Lincoln this season. They've managed to pick up some some decent wins and they do play some decent football. Uh, they drew this weekend. It was uh, it was nil nil uh, with Wigan at home. Yeah. Uh, and we saw Wigan at St Andrews, Dad, and we thought they were a decent team That's again. That's no didn't disgrace. They? Wigan were exactly, a decent side. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, Cambridge, I think, are going to struggle this season. I've said that since the start. In fact, they lost to Wickham uh, this weekend. Again, keep this one pretty short and sweet. I've gone for Cambridge United one, Lincoln City two. One two. One okay. two. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously Cambridge are really struggling. I think they're going to have a tough season, to be honest. They're right down at the bottom. They've lost five, uh, lost five of the last six, and the other one that they drew. Um, so their their form is uh, is not very good. Lincoln are are a really good side. They've they've had an upturn in form. So um, they've won three, drawn two, and lost one of the last six. The last two have been draws actually, but I think they're strong enough to win it. I've gone for a win as well, but I've gone for Cambridge nil, Lincoln two. Nice. Okay, and that's, that brings on to our next game, and that is Leighton Orient at home to Wrexham. Should be a good game. Now, 
no, this is a good game. But we've played Leighton Orient away, and I think they're now finally starting to pick up a bit of form. They've won their last two games. Yep. Um, good wins as well. Uh, very good wins as yeah. well. Um, playing against the Wrexham team, who we saw at St Andrews a few weeks ago, uh, and who well, I, I don't know if they struggled against Crawley, but it was two one. So it's not the result. I think we predicted a wider margin. Both of us did. Um, but I think Leighton Orient, uh, uh, you know. Um, uh, a lot of teams might underestimate them. We've seen them. They're a good team. We managed to come away with a 2-1 victory when we were there, but uh, it was tight. Mm -hmm. um, I've gone for Leighton Orient 3, Wrexham 2. Gone for Leighton Orient win? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so I think this is going to be a draw. I think it's got draw written all over it. I think Leighton Orient, I think they've been an underrated team this season. Although they lost their first four games, they were playing the bigger teams, arguably the bigger teams in the division as included in that. So they did get off to a tough start. I really like their manager, Wellens. I think he's a good manager. He has yeah. them set up well. Yeah. And Wrexham, for me, when we saw them, I, I weren't that impressed. So I've gone for a draw and I've gone for Leighton Orient 2, Wrexham 2. Yeah, I mean, and also as well, you know, Wrexham will go to that top of the league. I mean, well, they're joint top with us. I mean, obviously, they've played a game more than us, but they're still, um, mm -hmm. as it stands, at the top. So that will be a tough game for Leighton Orient. Yeah. I just think that um, that at home, you know, they are they are going to be strong. You know, we we beat them, but uh, anyway, so I've, I've just edged towards an, uh, an Orient win. Mm -hmm. Um, next, Matt, we have Northampton against Mansfield. So both teams here are going in from a, two brilliant wins this weekend. You know, uh, Northampton beat Huddersfield on their own turf 3-1. Absolutely amazing win. And Mansfield, I believe they won 2-1. Uh, yeah, 2-1. They beat Shrewsbury Town 2-1 at home. And obviously Shrewsbury are having a difficult season as well. But nonetheless, a good three points for Mansfield there. Uh, so I've gone for a stalemate. I've gone for a draw. And I think this is going to be 1-1. 1-1. So I'm smiling because that's what I've picked as well. <laughs> I've gone for one one as well. This is, this is weird. This is the third result we've actually got the same. But 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 again, I I agree with you. I thought that uh, Northampton victory at Huddersfield was a thumping victory, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, that will give them a lot of confidence as well. But I think Mansfield, you know, they they are under reasonably good form um, after their first. Uh, we saw them win the first game of the season in League One against mm -hmm. Barnsley away at Barnsley. Then they went off a bit, drew, lost, drew, but they've won their last two. Yeah. So it's, this is going to be a tight game, and that's why that's why I've gone for a draw as well because I think there's yeah. be there's not going to be too much between these two teams. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, 1-1 one, one draw. I agree. Yeah. So, Dad, that brings us on to our next game, and that's Shrewsbury at home to Rotherham. What are your thoughts on uh, that? Somebody commented that uh, it's not Shrewsbury, it's Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, that's for me. I call it as well, Shrewsbury. Yeah. And people know who we're talking about, but we don't want to uh, upset so the, Shrewsbury. the Shrewsbury people. Okay. I've always said Shrewsbury. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. I, Apologies, I, I, Shrewsbury I, I, from now so, on. Yeah. Shrewsbury versus uh, Rotherham. <laughs> Rotherham were shocking, weren't they? they were. um, against us, and uh, obviously, you know, if you haven't seen the post-match video that we put out um, a few days ago, go and have a, a listen to that. And if you're a, particularly if you're a Shrewsbury fan and want to get a bit of a handle for what we thought about Rotherham, it's all on that uh, on that podcast. Um, Shrewsbury have had a terrible season so far, haven't they? Shrewsbury. They, they, <laughs> <laughs> oh my word, Shrewsbury. Sorry, apologies. Shrewsbury have had a terrible season uh, so far. Um, they've won one of the last six, and, they, and they've lost the rest. They've lost. Five yeah. Five, one, one. That's easy, um, yeah. And and rather, um, I, you know, I just think that um, they are a better team than bottom four, in my opinion. Even yeah. though they were poor against they us, are. so I've edged towards a rather and winning. I've gone for Shrewsbury nil, rather and one. Honestly, I've, I've got Shrewsbury nil, rather than oh, one. I, I've done a one nil win because exactly the logic you've said. Rather than aren't a bottom four team. They will be mid-table, I think, at best, because they are having a, a difficult season this season. I think they're going to take some time to adjust. I can't see them scoring many goals. I've gone for a 1-0 win. Tonight, okay, though. fine. I mean, we're not changing results. If if you predict the same as me for all of them, that would still stay yeah, the same. Because this, yeah. is, this is an authentic predictions yeah, yeah. podcast. And, if anything, uh, it might give us a sign, Dad, that we're adapting to League One, predict, uh, to, to the league, because we've been in the championship for the past 12, 13 years now. It's, oh, no, we've been in for longer. No, yeah, 12, 13 years. Yeah. We've got so used to that. Maybe it's a sign we're getting used to League One. Yeah, well, hopefully not for too long, but uh, <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Okay, so next, uh, Matt, we have Stevenage against Charlton. Yeah, so Stevenage had a disappointing weekend. They lost to Exeter 2-0, and Charlton also had a disappointing weekend. They obviously lost to Blackpool 2-1 as well. So um, I think this has got stalemate written all over it. I've gone Stevenage 0, Charlton 0. I've gone for a 0-0 draw. 0-0 draw, okay. Yeah. Uh, I've gone for a draw as well, but it's 1-1. One, one. I've gone for 1-1. One, one. Uh, I mean, Stevenage are inconsistent. If you look at their last six games, let me just read off their, their last six games. It's won, lost, drawn, lost, won, lost. So every every game, every other game is peppered with a loss. So this is tells yourself it's going to be a draw or a uh, or a win. But um, Charlton, yeah, uh, got beaten, didn't they, at home um, uh, last weekend. 
and um, they, they they tend to in most games would do enough to to maybe scrape a victory, but I just think you know Stephen, you can't underestimate them at home, which is why I've gone for a draw as well. So I've gone for one one, um, and I think that you know it's hard to separate those two teams in this. If the fixture was reversed, I think I'd edge towards Charlton, but because Steve right. Madrid at home, I've gone for the for the one-one yeah. draw. And Charlton aren't ever really involved in massively high-scoring games, aren't they? They're usually one-nil wins, two ones, maybe swings either way. They're not yeah. involved in you know like Bolton's and the Wrexham's yeah. really massively high-scoring games. Okay, and Dad, second to last is Wigan at home to Exeter. What are your thoughts on that game? Um, Wigan again. We, we've said this before. Was very impressed with them when they came to St Andrews. We only scored a late winner to uh, injury time winner to uh, to actually beat them. Um, but they have been a little bit inconsistent in form. Uh, particularly, they started off very sluggishly. So they lost three of the late, the first four. Then they've won, uh, won and drawn. Um, Exeter as well have also been a little bit consistent. You know, they've won three and won three and won three and draw uh, lost three of the last six. Mm. Um, so on that basis, that the fact that Exeter haven't had any draws, I've gone for a draw. <laughs> okay, I've gone for uh, Wigan two, Exeter two. Uh, De- Desmond. Yes, yeah. I've gone for Desmond. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I've gone. Yeah. I mean Wigan. Same as you, Dad. I was quite impressed with them at St Andrews. I feel I feel like they're quite a hard team to predict. You know, they they don't score goals. Then suddenly, I think last weekend they won four nil. And I was like, where did that performance come yeah. from? So I've gone for a bit of a random sort of finger in the sky here, if I'm going to be totally honest, because I think this is a difficult one to predict. But I have gone for a Wigan victory. I've gone Wigan three, Exeter one. Okay. And then it comes on to the final fixture of game week eight, Barnsley at home to Stockport. So but I think Barnsley are going to be good this season and they got a win at the weekend. They beat Burton 2-1 away. Always good to win on the road. Stockport have got off to a flyer, but you know this weekend I think everyone was surprised, weren't they, when Leighton Orient went there and beat them 4-1. Uh, no disrespect, I mean, to Leighton Orient, we know they're a good side, but to win of that goal difference is... is it was yep. really impressive to beat them on their own turf by that volume. So in that spirit, I think Barnsley are going to keep the momentum going. And I think this might set Stockport back a little bit. So I've gone for a home win. I've gone Barnsley 2, Stockport 1. 2-1. Two, one. Yeah. OK. Um, Barnsley are a strange team, aren't they? They look really poor in the first game we saw on, on uh, against uh, against Manfield, which they lost. Um, and then they've um, got, gone on to, uh, to win four, draw one and lost one of their last six games. But they got thumped seven nil by Man United in the Carabao Cup, didn't yeah. they, in midweek? Uh, and then went and um, won at the weekend. But mainly I suspect that maybe they weren't playing a full team mm-hmm. against Man United. Um, so, uh, so I think this is a tough one to call. Uh, Stockport, um, you know, they, they won the first three, went off flying, but the next three they've drawn two and lost one. Mm-hmm. So they've tailed off a little bit. And that's a real, really surprise um, defeat at home to Leighton Orient. Um, again, uh, only on home advantage here. I've gone for the form to continue. So I've gone for Barnsley 1, Stockport nil. Okay, gone for another home win as well. So yeah. I think we've... Probably the closest to line we've ever been this week, Dad. And as you say, I just want to reiterate, we do not discuss our predictions beforehand. Yep. Um, as I, I think we're just slightly maybe getting more used to uh, League One. But every weekend we get thrown some curveballs, don't we? No one can see yeah. the results that come in. But uh, as you say, I seem to do pretty good at the win-lose draw and you seem to be pretty good at getting the odd, uh, odd actual right result there. So yeah, yeah. should be interesting going into to game week eight. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So as always on this channel, we love the engagement and we'd love to hear from you. Maybe you've stumbled across this video and this channel for the first time and you've uh, heard your team pop up and uh, maybe you want to challenge us on our prediction or maybe we've pronounced your team wrong. Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we always seem to get a bit of pronunciation wrong. So please drop us a comment in the section below about your thoughts uh, we'd love to hear from you and me and dad do get around to every comment when we do get the time so we love going through those comments and, and hearing uh, all those responses and if you'd like this video specifically please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and check us out on our social media channels we have an X page we have an Instagram page and you can also follow us and listen to us on Spotify now as well and if you haven't already please don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button so you don't miss any future content all about Birmingham City and myself and dad will see you on the next video